Well, what would you do if you were in constant pain and nothing the doctors told you to do would help at all? That was a question facing Jill Horst. For weeks, Jill was hurting. So she held on to her faith, and guess what happened? It was serious. I mean, I thought I was dying at times. I was having everyone pray for me. Jill Horst had been sick with pneumonia for over a month. Antibiotics were just starting to help when Jill encountered a new problem. Asleep in bed, two o'clock in the morning, I woke up and I felt this bad pain in my neck. So I went back to sleep and I just thought it'll work itself out over time. Well, it didn't. Four days later, Jill went to her doctor who diagnosed her with a pinched nerve in her spine. I couldn't bend my head back like this and I couldn't lift my right arm or I couldn't feed myself. And so it was just very uh, painful. Jill took painkillers and sought treatment from a physical therapist and a chiropractor, but nothing helped. I just had to ask my husband for help. He had to stay home from work for like the first time in 26 years we were married. He's staying home and helping, doing the cooking, the cleaning, the laundry. And I'm trying to do everything the doctor tells me to do to get better, and it wasn't working. Jill held on to her faith and prayed for healing. I was praying to God. I was asking all my friends to pray. I'm like, God, I love you. I know you have a good plan for my life. I don't understand this, but I'm gonna trust in you through this. And I know everyone's praying for me. I know you could heal me if you wanted to. And just show me what I should do next. Three weeks had passed since Jill's diagnosis with no sign of improvement. I was just watching a 700 Club Interactive show, something positive and encouraging try to lift my spirits. And then that's when Gordon Robertson had the word of knowledge. There's someone you're suffering with um, reduced function uh, in your right arm and it's from uh, a nerve, nerve damage and God has just healed that nerve. He's able to restore nerves in Jesus name. There's someone else. I said, that sounds like me. And I could bend my head back for the first time. I went over to the sink and I cup to cup of water and this I could never do those two things even on the painkillers and I was able to drink and I was like wow I'm so happy God just healed me I was just praising God Jill regained full mobility in her arm and has had no problem since she went back to enjoying her active life including a mission trip to Honduras just a few months later well it's helped me with believing in the power of prayer so when someone has a need, I'm there to, to pray with them now, a lot more so than before this happened. Hey, it's our joy to pray for you. We want to do it. Uh, Terry, I've got uh, somebody who reports in from Cleveland, Ohio. Her name was Jan. She, Ten years. She had painful red lesions. Her sister was watching, and you gave a word, quote, I don't know what it is, but you have these reappearing, uh, reoccurring sores, and they look like rug burns. So Jan's sister called and said, hey, you better watch the show. Something's good on it. And guess what? God healed her. You got it. <laughs> you got it. Isn't that amazing? It's, this it's is wonderful. Doris. She All lives right, in well, Temple, Texas. Okay. Just like Jill, she suffered. She had pain in her neck. It shot up into her head. One day she's watching this program and you said this. You have a neck problem. The muscles are constricted and you have a hard time moving your head. She said, that's me. She claimed the word, felt the Lord touch her. The pain was gone immediately. She's been pain free since that day. All right. We're going to join together. I, I want you to pray with us. Hey, nothing's impossible. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Yes. I join with my dear sister. Lord, Jesus. we come before you and we acknowledge our weakness. We acknowledge our sinfulness. And we ask that you would forgive us yes. who are your servants and give us your authority to speak your word. Oh, my somebody, I believe the name is Vernon, you've got a ruptured aorta. I mean, it's serious stuff. I mean, you, you may be in intensive care right as we're speaking, and God is healing you. That you, that, that uh, ruptured aorta is, is, is life-threatening, and God has just touched you by the power of God. Terry? 
someone else, you have an esophagus problem and right. it causes pain for you. There's a burning that comes with it. There's a problem with your food and, and digesting without it coming back. God is healing that condition for you right now and you'll be set free from that. George, you've got night sweats. The Lord is taking away. I, I know it, it, it's like mononucleosis and night sweats, and you're you're really weak, and and it's it's. But God just heals you of that, Terry. Someone else with a cornea issue. I don't know if it's one eye or two eyes, but God's got it. <laughs> just give it to Him. Receive healing in Jesus' name. Thank you, name. Lord. In Jesus' name, receive an answer by the power of God. 